How you doing, Austin? Here we're going to talk about crypto actually holding its own and doing fairly well in the context of what's going on in the larger macro market in in stocks. Obviously, there's a lot going on with China right now, um, and I've got a lot to tell you. So, I realize that crypto, in your eyes, it, it may not be doing a lot at only being up 0.5 percent, but hey, it's a lot better than this. Look at what's going on in stocks right now. It is uh, bloody on that side of the street. The Dow right here where my mouse is down 391, NASDAQ down 111, Russell 2000 down 33. Stocks dip to start weak as Powell chills rate cut hopes. hopes. We know that's out there. That's looming. We know that last week we had the um, Federal Reserve FOMC meeting and uh, they stripped out all language from like they had done in previous um, FOMC meetings talking about the fact that they were going to reduce the interest rate. There was really no, no mention of that. Um, so that's there, but the real story here, as far as what's going on in, in kind of the broader macro market is, uh, China, China is having some hard times right now. Obviously their CSI 1000 index crashed 8%. They halted trading for 30% of their stocks. And this is their, look at this. I mean, look at the chart. I'll make sure you guys can see that. Yep. Okay. This chart just, I mean, just obviously you can see that chart right there. Uh, now, a lot of what is going on here is uh, Evergrande. It is, which is China's second largest property giant by sales. They are in bankruptcy. Uh, so Beijing is having to do liquidity injections. Uh, they're having to, you know, do that. They've come out and said, quote, we are going to steady expectations and confidence and adamantly ward off abnormal market fluctuations. Uh, you know, right here, China's equity market seem to be to finally be joining at their collapsing real estate market. OK, uh, so there is a lot of going on here as far as uncertainty. Now, I realize that, you know, you may be looking at it going, I don't care what happens in China. Well, the, the bottom line is China is a global financial power house and the uncertainty and the risk and the, uh, you know, all that goes in that is, is starting to impact stocks. Will it move over and impact crypto? We don't know yet. Obviously, as I, as I showed you, crypto is actually doing a fairly good job again, right? In context of the major red that is on the stock side of the house, China, all that kind of stuff impacting everything. So, I'm going to take this as kind of good news right now with the fact that that crypto is holding its holding its you know it's holding its own. Uh, if we're looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum, I mean they're really flat, uh, not doing a whole heck of a lot. In fact, if we look at the top gainers, it's Chainlink, GNO, Frax. Uh, but you can look at the percentages and know that there's really not a lot going on there. And conversely, you know the the top the top loser, if you will, as far as percentage down out of the top 100 is Ronin and they're only down 10 points. Okay. So not a lot going on on crypto in the context of uh, move up or move down. Um, and in fact, let me make sure that just, that just flashed, right. We just moved into point negative Oh five, uh, per territory. We were up 0.5. Now we're down 0.05. I'll keep an eye on it for you the rest of the day. Let you know if we see anything crazy going on. Uh, but you can see, you don't have to look much further than go anywhere and look at any financial news. This is what's happening. Uh, and historically, right, crypto and stocks are coupled, kind of tied together, if you will, but it's not bleeding over yet into, into crypto. Okay. So that's what we got going on there. So uh, final thought, wanted to let you know that uh, software sparked a buy alert for, for Avalanche, for Solana. Um, I haven't looked at ICP in a little bit. Let me look at ICP. We got just one for ICP. So I've uh, just given you kind of the, the, the software saying, Hey, it's the right time to buy. The last time my software said it was time to buy ICP as an example, that was a buy. There was a sell. It's 220% up in that blue box. You see right there, 60 days, a thousand in would have made you $2,191 in profit. Okay. But all the way to that sell was like 322 plus percent. So uh, links in the description below if you want to pick up my software. There's a discount code down there. You can get it for a dollar a day. A uh, little over is what it costs you. There's also a 30-day, no questions asked, money-back refund guarantee. 
Uh, and you can see like for Solana right here, it gave a buy alert way back there and then all the way up to that. So 108 days, 416% up. So it's issued buy alerts. I've actually just given you these buy alerts for free. So software saying it's the right time to buy ICP, Solana, Avalanche. You know, conversely right now, it's saying, hey, it's not the right time, as you can see, to buy, um, you know, to buy XRP, uh, you know, just to give you some context, right? Okay, so links in description below if you want to check that out. Also, if you're interested, the best uh, trading platform out there, if you're interested in using leverage, things like that, is Margex. Links in the description below. There's a 20% deposit bonus for you if you decide to use my, my referral link. So check it out. Links in the description below. Pick that up. All right. More news coming. I'll see you. Take care. Bye.